we have to find the domain of f of g, which is a composite function. f is having input as gx. So what is f? f is log. So log of gx, input of this composite function is gx. So gx is x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus 3x square minus 2x plus 2 divided by 2x square minus 2x plus 1. So for finding the domain of this function, we need two conditions. One is log and its input must be positive. So this is one condition. Input must be positive. This term must be positive. Second thing is its denominator should not be equal to 0. So 2x square minus 2x plus 1 should not be equal to 0. Now let's try to rearrange the numerator. So we can write it as x raised to 4 minus 2x cube plus x square. Idea behind that is we can complete the square. So we took one of the x square from here. We still have 2x square. So let's use one more x square and minus 2x plus 1. So we left with one more x square and 1. x raised to 4, yes, it is utilized. Minus 2x cube utilized. 3x square, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here utilized. Minus 2x is here and 2 is 1 and 1. So this is your numerator. Denominator is you can take 2 common and then you will left with x square minus x plus half. Now let's go for completing a square. So you can write this as 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. This should be positive. This is a minus b whole square, x square minus x the whole square. Again, this is also in the format of a minus b whole square. And this is x square plus 1. Denominator is your x minus half whole square plus 1 by 4. So you can certainly say that this numerator is always positive because it can only be 0 when all of them are 0. First and second term can be 0 and both can also be 0 at x equal to 1 but this can never be 0 for any real value. Similarly, denominator will also be positive. The minimum value is 2 into 1 by 4. So it is always true. This condition is always true. And the second part is also true. Denominator not equal to 0 because denominator is always positive. So domain will be R all real number. And answer given is also option A. We are getting the same answer.